Save it! Oh, Welcome to the club! I sent Mark in there <laughs> with my camera because he's full of dead birds. I can smell it from here. Hello to you all and welcome to another My Studio Life Adventures and today we're going to be hitting the water here at Lake Erie and we're down here at HH H. Knoll uh, Park, Lakeview Park, uh, which is next to Sugarloaf Marina and we're going to be launching from here today and heading out on Lake Erie. I just want to quickly show you around here because it's actually a really really nice marina here. Uh, I've launched from here a couple of times before this summer and I made a couple of trips down here and maybe at some point I'm going to do a nice video of Port Coburn itself but I'm just launching from here today and then heading out on the lake and going west so we've got a nice gravel lot uh, for the boats and the park is just over there it's actually a very nice park and uh, the marina is here the old uh, mills there and the sound wall the breakwater I should say and the entrance to the lake is just over there so uh, this is a really nice place, so I'll just quickly show you the boat ramp. Uh, good sized boat coming in. There's a lot of boats out today. Uh, the water's really nice today. Uh, for the past two weeks, we've had really strong southwesterly winds down here on Lake Erie, so it's been really hard to get out, and the last couple of days have been really nice, so I've been planning on doing this trip for quite a while, and today is the first real opportunity I've had for over two weeks to get out on Lake, Lake Erie and really go out and explore again. Here, oh my god, I mean, I come down here all this way from my own home, which is down the corner, and you, go, you show up. I come where the weather is and where the good times are, buddy. This is Mark from Forest Sound and Adventure, and we're both going to be hitting, le hitting Lake Erie today, so uh, join us. We're going to hit a leak? A leak, a lake. Did I say leak? Yeah, I was like, I'm I think I've already had a leak, so we're going to hit a lake then. We'll probably leak <laughs> later on in the day. All right, we're back on the water, and I can tell you where we're going today. We're going to hit the uh, Lake Erie. We're going to be traveling west about 32 to 35 kilometers to a town called Dunville. Dunville, of course, which is famous for its Dunville dinner jackets. No, it's not, no, it's not, no. But I was told that, but apparently it's not true. Uh, no, uh, we're heading down to Dunville, and uh, just before we get to Dunville, is a place called Mohawk Island. It's where an abandoned lighthouse is, which is I want to go and check out. And then also when we get to Dunville, we're going to check out another lighthouse, uh, Maitland. I'll have to check that later. Maitland Lighthouse, I believe it is. And then we're going to try and get ourselves up the, um, the Grand River, up to the first dam. Because you can't go all the way up the Grand River due to it's sectioned off by different dams. So we're going to do that as well. Uh, we do have the weather slightly against us right now. Uh, we started off with hardly any wind this morning. It's northeasterly. Uh, currently 16 degrees right here. The sun's feeling quite strong. But around about 1 o'clock, because it's now uh, just gone midday, just after 1 o'clock, the winds will change to a southwesterly. And it'll probably pick up to like 14, 15 kilometers an hour, gusting 24. So we might get some little bumps on the way back. So all the way. I'm looking forward for this. Let's go, let's hit the water, Lake Erie, and join us on my Studio Life Adventures. My name is Nigel, the channel is Nigel's Cheap Vlogs. His name is Mark Forrest, and his challenge is Forest Sound and Adventures. The sun's still quite strong. Feel it. It's cold though. a bit chilly so uh, I'll put the new top on keep it warm for that cool breeze uh, first time wearing it proper this is the uh, Heli Hansen uh, uh, soft foil smock sailing smock so uh, waterproof windproof the whole lot Let's see how good it is
fucked up. He's lost his hat. <laughs> he, he's over there. <laughs> Cor corner of my eye, I just saw him like just do a quick turn. So someone's got a wet head now. <laughs> oh, here he comes. <laughs> How's your head? A bit cold now, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Nice. See, now you know how it feels. Ha <laughs> ha, you no, Yeah, now I got a cold wet head too. Alright. Yeah, it's actually the water, the lake water I believe is like 72 still. Oh that's warm. Yeah, that's still warm. Right, I can feel the uh coldness on the back of my head from my hat. Uh, the lake water is really warm though. As I'm just saying, 72 degrees approximately right now uh, Fahrenheit for the lake water. But it's that cool breeze. Once that cool breeze gets on the uh, the wetness, you feel that chill. So hey, it's gone again now. The sun's disappeared behind that stupid black cloud. Anyway, the lighthouse is just uh, over there. Probably about two and a half, three miles away. And uh, hopefully we'll try and get close to it. And we can try and beach the sea dudes and have a walk around. So uh, next stop, the lighthouse. Oh my god, this looks spectacular! Oh my god, this really looks nice! Uh, haunting even, it's got a haunting feel to it as you approach it! I can find an area to just moor up, so I'll probably just turn the camera off for a minute while we try and find somewhere. Oh, it's clear all along here. Stones right there. It was nice until this point. Don't want to do a bob. anywhere unless a big wake comes along all right we've uh beached our sea dews here oh change that setting i'm using a different camera right now i'm using uh using the canon i mean i thought i'd try a different camera for this one 
So hopefully the image will come out really, really well instead of using a GoPro. Uh, so behind me is the Gull Island Lighthouse, or formerly known as Gull Island Lighthouse. Uh, the actual island is now called Mohawk Island. Uh, the lighthouse was built back in 1848. Um, it was, uh, became automated in 1933, and in 1969, they literally just, it stopped being used. But the uh, lighthouse was set up to guide ships out of Dunville, and also along um, the Lake Erie here, over to the Welland Canal, and that's what its whole purpose was. Um, as of right now, there is another lighthouse just closer to Dunville, which I believe is still working, but we'll check that out very shortly. But uh, this is the old relic of Gull Island Lighthouse. Cool, I like it. Now, do you see the uh, the stonework on the lighthouse? Uh, apparently, the, the lighthouse was uh, commissioned, sorry, was built by the same person uh, that did the Welland Canal and used the same kind of uh, quarry stone to build this lighthouse. Uh, I'll have to name right over it and tell you the name of the guy, he's a Scotsman, uh, but he's the guy who uh, built this and uh, used the same uh, stone. The construction of Mohawk Island Lighthouse was awarded in 1846 to John Brown, a Scotsman who had worked on the stone locks for the Erie Barge Canal and Welland Canal. Construction of the lighthouse commenced in the spring of 1847, with limestone being shipped from Brown's Quarry in Queenston to Port uh, Maitland via the Welland Canal. The lighthouse was completed in 1847, but due to the late arrival of the lighting apparatus from England, its light could not be placed in operation until the spring of 1848. Uh, the lighthouse was decommissioned in 1969, and in 1977 the Canadian government established the island as Mohawk Island National Wildlife Area to protect nesting birds. I sent Mark in there <laughs> with my camera because he's full of dead birds. I can smell it from here. Notice how, notice how he's got me going where the stinky stuff is with his camera. She, oh. Golly. Oh, I'm not getting my head out this time. Oh no, I can't shoot. Oh God. Poor guys. Yeah, remember this. Uh, Remember to subscribe.
right, we're back on the Sea Dews, and we're just going to venture around there and uh, quickly go into Dunville, have a quick look uh, before we end up making it out of here before the weather gets really bad with the winds. This is Port Maitland in uh, Dunville, home of the Dunville Dinner Jacket, of course. I guess that's the lighthouse they're on about, which was built uh, a long time ago by the Royal Navy. Anyway, we're in Hull Demand uh, County now, so we're not in Niagara region. When I say Hull Demand County, I want to say Hull Demand, like in Afghanistan, but this is Hull Demand. Hull Demand. Is that how I pronounce it? Hull Demand County. Anyway, uh, let's ride up here so you can see, and then I gotta change the battery. Check out the change of colour. Blue water into brown. Look at that. That was cool. How quick was that transformation? Right, we have no idea what's up here. No idea whatsoever. I'm eating again. All right, we made it to Dunville, and there's nothing here. Nothing. So, oh, a sign there that says, Welcome to Dunville. They should have another one there that says, Goodbye. I'm done, Bobber, coming again. All right. Wasn't really worth coming up here, but at least I can see now I've ridden on the Grand River. A part of it. So, we're gonna head back out, Lake Erie. We know it's gonna be a little bit rough now. I've got the marine radio next to me just in case. So it's gonna be a rough ride back, I think, to Port Coburn. Then we'll have a little ride around Port Coburn. All right, so uh, here it goes.
what a great ride. I'm so glad the lake is still warm. Well, if we have the stuff I've got on, it keeps me dry. The only thing I'm wearing underneath this is a rash guard. And I feel absolutely bone dry. This compelled I'm soaking. We're really getting a lot of spray out here on the lake. Big way. Colburn. Uh, I'm not going to make a video down here because I've already done one. I'm going to do another one very soon as well. I'm just waiting for one of these classic freight liners to come in and uh, it's going to be scrapped here in Port Colburn. So that's due in soon, in the next few more weeks. And uh, once that's here, I'll do my uh, Port Colburn video then and hopefully it'll be before the winter comes. All right, that's it. We just finished another great adventure. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the ride and I thoroughly enjoyed seeing that lighthouse. It was spectacular. Uh, Dunville, not so much. Uh, but the, the lighthouse was great and the ride back was fun. And uh, Mark's got some great footage here of Port Coburn and the ship coming in and I did a live stream. So anyway, until the next adventure, thanks for watching everyone. Make sure you give it a thumbs up uh, to like and uh, if, you don't, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. It really helps and uh, makes me feel a lot happier. Also, I'll start doing my uh, This Is Niagara videos very soon as well. I'll be on foot doing some adventures around the Niagara region. So until the next video, stay safe everyone, and then uh, see you very soon.